so hey welcome back guys to a short tutorial video and yes i know i know i know before you start shouting and all i know i am late to this tutorial to this post but i was quite busy for some time you know with my exams and all that so yeah so today i will show you the best settings the best best settings for you so you can post you know the quality post that you see everywhere on instagram on youtube the best settings so that you don't lose any of those pixels while uploading just a quick reminder if you aren't subscribed yet we are very close to that 50k mark so if you aren't subscribed yet do subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and yeah if you all already subscribed thanks thank you a lot it's been a pleasure so Love you. yeah that's it let's begin so to begin this tutorial we need three things the three things are number one will be the com settings and clips you know the clips that you use second will be render settings it matters a lot a lot i mean a lot so yeah the render settings and the two pairs the two pair settings i will show you my new two pair settings which they use you should be using it too right makes no sense if you are using some shitty ass you know settings which make your video look dull so yeah let's begin so first let me make it clear if you are new to editing you should always know that if you are using low quality clips and all that it will always make your edit look very very bad even if it's like excellent or something out of this world if you are doing anything very good or something it won't work out you need to use clips like these with 4k resolution or maximum if you are not able to find any clips 1080 should work 1080p is the base which you should be using for your edits okay so if you want any clips or any type of comps scene packs of any player any movie or anything you can join my discord the link will be in the description you can also find after effects media encoder topaz in the server it's a very fun server you can join there i usually interact with everyone there i answer all the questions and all that so yeah and do join our premium telegram where we post rare rare comps which are for special special matches which most people don't have so yeah if you can afford that it's only seven dollars i guess yes yeah, seven dollars you can buy it and you know one time buy and you can always enjoy it. so yeah you can let's move on to the next step so for the next step we need to come to after effects obviously and these are the comp settings that you should be using 1080p width should be the base and if you are using a 9 is to 16 or you know 14 40 3 is to 4 it should be like this the base should always be 1440 you can you know increase it decrease it by you know just a margin bit like 960 or something it shouldn't go below that it is the base settings which you should be using okay so yeah now that we are done with that we move on to the so render the render settings here will be if you are not using media encoder you are missing out on high quality renders with low sizes so yeah you should be using media encoder for you know better results so you should be clicking on here which should take you to the settings project settings after this screen pops up you should be clicking on use maximum render quality and this should be already clicked if you aren't using frame rate on 60 make it 60 i'll fix that even if your video is lagging make it 60 keep that i will fix it later on in this video then click on render at maximum depth after that when you go down you can click on cbr and make it 21 20 19 whatever it feels like but it shouldn't be below 16 or above 21 this is the best settings i usually use this settings and post so that instagram doesn't you know they decompress the video and always try to keep your videos under 100 mb and i don't prefer using handbrake i have never preferred using handbrake you should always use media encoder that's enough and then we move to topaz so here we are in topaz if you don't have topaz 
you can go to my discord server as i said and install it from there so after we are here we will click on browse we will select the video after we selected the video we will come here and these are my settings and basically i don't like grain a lot so yeah and encoder should always be h264 target bitrate should always be 21 mb per second as i said while rendering also shouldn't be below 16 and shouldn't be above 21 and yes the format will should always be mp4 right so that was it guys thank you for watching see you in the next video